I've been using C++ more and more lately for a few classes and just for fun. It's a very versatile language and of course it's a bedrock language. That being said, I made this fine median program. I'm going to post uh, a link to it in the description so you can access it, check it out. I think it's pretty efficient. This is also the type of program that's often an assignment in intro computer science classes. I did it in Python once, for example. So, um, and by I think, I mean, it is fairly efficient. We only perform, uh, well, we perform a couple calculations, but I avoid needing multiple if statements. Let's just dive in and I'll show you what's going on here. Um, and feel free to use it, steal it, change it, make it your own, of course. But yeah, uh, let's dive in. So what this does obviously is find the median of, well, an array of integers. And what it needs is this function, find median, you're going to pass the array of integers, and then you're going to pass the length of that array. A uh, few things real quick, IO stream algorithm I use, and you'll see why in a second. I don't like using namespace, kind of just pollutes the program, and especially starting out, I use this uh, up here using, right, std and uh, uh, inline and cout. I guess I could have done it for sort, but regardless, double median. So for the uh, the reason I'm declaring median as a double is because sometimes you will get a result from an array of integers. Well, sometimes an array of integers will have a median that is a decimal point, right? If you have, I mean, heck, if my array was two and three, and that's the whole thing, well, the median of a two-number array, well, it'd be 2 plus 3 divided by 2, so it'd be 2.5. So you do need the median, even if it's an array of ints, to have a double um, variable type. And then sorting algorithm used for efficiency. Sort just, well, efficiently sorts. Um, largest, uh, smallest to largest, so it would return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And so that's what we're doing here. We're taking our int array, which was passed as the argument. It's our parameter up here. And then we're saying, okay, let's take that array, comma, let's say that array plus length, right? And then sort. And we're adding length here because the arguments need to be the first and in C++, right? Putting an array's name, that's just going to point to the first element of the array. And then adding the length, well, we're going to get the last element. So for sort, they need first and last. All right, now down to calculating the median. Um, I often see people using two if statements to check if it's an even or odd amount of numbers um, because the median calculation would be different. In an odd situation, if I have five different numbers, well, the third number would be the median regardless. Um, and there's not mu much more math I would need to perform. And then if it's even, they do something else. And that's uh, something I think is a problem and can be approved upon. Calculate the median for odd length into arrays. This is going to be used regardless. So what I'm doing right now is even if our medium isn't odd, maybe we have four numbers in our median, uh, uh, in our array of numbers, we still want this. So I say int array length divided by two. Whatever the length of our array is, I'm dividing it by two and I'm getting that center item. Now, in C++, let's say the length is 5. Well, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. But this type of division, interdivision, integer division in C++ is going to return an int. Meaning 5 divided by 2 in C++ is 2 if you're talking about integers. And so this will grab the second element of our uh, 5 element array. The second element is going to be, keep in mind, it's a array. So if I take the length and I divide it by two, that is going to be the center of an odd array, right? So if I have an array of one, two, three, four, and five, the center of this is three. But if you're talking about an array, well, this one is at the index of zero, index of one, index of two. So if I take the length, which is five, and divide it by 2, which is what I'm doing here, my returned result here is going to be a 2. So length divided by 2 is 2, and what is that going to give us? The 3, which is why if we have an odd array, an odd length array, we already have the median. Now, if we don't, let's say the length is 4 long, 
it doesn't matter. We would still want to take 4 and divide it by 4 and get this 2 returned to us. Now what I'm checking is for that circumstance. I'm checking to see if the length is divisible by 2, right? And what this returns, the percent sign, if there's uh, no remainder, we get 0, okay? If I put length then as 3, our remainder would equal 1. So this is how I know if it's an even or odd length array, because all even numbers are divisible by 0. So if even, you can read, right, true, we would drop down, and now the median is going to equal what it was before, my median, plus int array length again over 2, right, but minus 1. And so what that will do for us is we are going to now grab, if it's a 4 array and we already got 2, we're going to divide length by 2. So now at 4, we're going to get 2 returned to us. And 2, and remember 2 was the 3, minus 1, because of order of operations, right? Minus 1 is going to be 1, which is perfect, because the index of 1 is this 2 number. So I add that to what the median equaled up here. When we got the 3, we now get the 2. Add those together, that is 5. I divide it by 2 here, and what will happen, since this is our double and this is a double, is we'll get 2.5. Okay, I'm now going to demonstrate it. So I guess I should show you the example I was doing. Let's say 1, 2, I just have this main thing down here. And again, I'm going to, this is going to be posted in the description for you to take a look at. So let's go ahead and save and run. Oh, what did I, oh, I <laughs> got to get rid of that stuff. Let's try again. Ah, ooh, the print, the font is tiny. Um, you might need to turn up the HD on the YouTube, but it is a 4, a 2.5, and a 15 with, as if you take a look at these numbers, you can see that that would be correct, or, you know, use the code I posted and try it yourself. Hope it is useful.